Balance training is great for any age and any fitness level. So let's take the next three minutes, that's all it is, three minutes, to practice these simple exercises from the comfort of our own home. So today we're going to do rear toe taps. So again, this exercise is good for balance, but it's also good for changes of direction and leg strength. So Imran's standing against the chair. He's got his feet hip width apart and his knees slightly bent and he is just hovering his hands over the chair. Again, you can use a kitchen work surface or a wall if you don't have a sturdy chair. And what he's going to do is going to transfer his weight, taking one leg back at a time. Don't step too far back, make sure that it's achievable. Um, he's keeping that supporting leg slightly bent and this would be your first option. So don't put yourself at any risk. Make sure that you are holding on. Um, and then the next option would be that you change the, the weight transference just to a toe tap like Imran's demonstrating now. So again, it's going to be challenging the balance and help when you need to change direction. Repetitions, aim for about 10 repetitions each leg. You might fi find that you need to start off just with one set of 10 and then building up to two and maybe three. Uh, and try this a couple of times a week, that would be great. Next, we're going to do a, a little bit more challenging exercise. Again, it's for balance. You will need that high kitchen work surface or a wall or a sturdy chair, and it's standing on one leg. So what you need to remember is standing up nice and tall, supporting legs slightly bent, so Imran's going to bend his left knee, um, and then he's just going to gently lift his foot off the floor, but keeping the toes on the floor. This is the first um, option. If you need to do it facing the chair, that's fine, and you can put two hands on, eventually progressing to removing a hand, and then maybe two hands. If you feel that your balance is pretty good, or it's getting there, you can do that by lifting one foot off the floor. So again, you're supporting like we're slightly bent, and as you can see, Imran's doing this now, he's just challenging his balance a little bit more. You can see that he has actually got a little bit of a wobble on that left foot, that's perfect then you know that you're challenging your balance and the, the aim would be eventually to do the exercise without holding on at all but again don't put yourself at risk so keep hold of that chair if you need to. As far as repetitions are concerned around about 10 and I would just do this once a day initially and obviously remember to do the other leg. Okay, so we're going through some pretty tough times at the moment and they can be tough for just about everyone. But we have different challenges depending on who you are and perhaps even how old you are. So yes, there's a lot of worries about coronavirus at the moment, but there's lots of other things that can be going on in people's lives. Financial worries, the loss, you might have, be suffering for some bereavement. Relationships, you might be worried about those around you. There's a lot of things that can build up and can really worry us. But if you don't reach out to people, the support that's available and that thing those things can get worse so you need to be brave you need to be courageous you need to be talking more about your mental well-being we've got some services locally like impact on teesside or you can call the age uk number just here uh, and they can help you out and guide you through a whole range of other issues so whether it's eating whether it's drinking and we want to get you know keep on top of those sort of things there's advice there for you and if you enjoyed those helpful tips and exercises, why not find out more on the information on the screen below.